Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Today we're working on my personal cart, a 2010 club car precedent that I've named Bones. Come along for the ride, let's get started. So on the first episode, um, I slapped in this uh, eco battery, which I still don't have hooked up completely, just enough to run it around. Uh, and the reason I didn't hook it up completely is because I've got to do a lot of uh, pulling a part of the body to get everything uh, wired up. I've got to pull that original charging port out and do some things in there. So that's why I didn't go too far with that. I did, uh, did get the 2-inch lift kit put on. Still not 100% sure if I'm happy with that or not. I had to make a lot of adjustments uh, in the front end. Got it pretty much where I want it, but um, probably play around with that a little bit more. Main objective today is um, get the body and everything pulled off. I've got to do a lot of under uh, washing or under pressure washing of the underside. Pressure washing of the underside. There we go. And um, I want to get the black plastic painted you know I like to use that bumper and trim paint and get that done so probably just more of a tear down and wash video and then uh, get into some of the painting maybe even slap this body on here we'll see what uh, the time looks like here and how far we get into it but uh, I got a lot of ideas I bought a GPS speedometer that I want to use I'm probably going to make my own dash right in here uh, for the battery gauge my GPS uh, speedometer maybe some other things we'll see how that goes um, but yeah a lot of work to do so mainly let's just start tearing it down uh, of course pull the seats off which is easy uh, roof is uh, six bolts for the roof uh, if you've never done one of these before and then it's just a matter of um, the sweater basket and there's a few things in there and then that under bar that main body comes off relatively easy actually it basically just sits down into the trough on here so Let's tear into that and uh, see what kind of mud and grime we've got underneath all the uh, plastic. That might look really intimidating to some of you, um, but literally, I didn't look at my watch, but that's probably 10 or 15 minutes. Um, you know, obviously I've done a bunch of these, so I know where all the bolts are and, and what sizes they are for the most part. So um, it may take you, you know, even twice as long, 30 minutes to get it down this far. But look at all the dirt and stuff we got to contend with here. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I noticed is... If you remember from the first video, this cart sat with uh, the lead acids, which are sitting over there, plugged in for like seven years, and it just boiled those batteries. So, you know, there is a little evidence of that. You can see that on that bolt, um, like the acid stains and so on. But what I want to do um, is finish going down a little farther. I'm going to pull the eco battery out, and we're going to pull this wiring harness out. And the reason being, and I might have shown you this before, um, with Eco, they actually make it so you just plug an extension cord in. And this R2-D2 looking thing actually is replacing the original charging port. So instead of having all this extra wiring in here, going back to the computer and so on, we're just going to plug this guy in and then this will plug into our eco charger and then we just use an extension cord. So I'm going to pull the battery out, we got to pull uh, the screw out here and lean that forward so we can get at the back side of this harness, but I'll show you that uh, once we get into it a little farther here. Alright, I've got the battery and everything out. I've got some of this other wiring laid out of the way so it maybe eliminates some confusion. This is just our positive and negative that goes to the battery, right here, okay? This is our main harness that's coming out of the control box. This is what we're eliminating right here. From here, back, and you can see that goes back to the back side of our, in our controller area. So just lean that forward 
don't be scared um, and just follow these wires up so here's the harness right here we're just going to unplug it from the back I'm trying to do this one handed and we're going to unplug it right here which I probably won't be able to do there we go and then you can pull that harness through that's all that goes back there so that's for the onboard computer which we're no longer using uh, because and when I say onboard computer, I mean for the charger. Obviously, we still have our, our brain box for the control, control box for the cart itself. Then you're going to want to come out to the front. And if you look right here, there's these little um, holes right here. And what that does is it allows you to release, get in there just right. Like I said, I'm trying to do it one-handed again. There we go. And you can pull this cover off. a lot better with two hands. There we go. And when we get down, what I'll do is I'll pull the floor mat up and we'll get at these screws right here and we'll take that completely out and then you can see how this matches up and then that'll sit in there uh, for our extension cord to plug in. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking out that old light wiring harness. What I did is I pulled the floor mat up and then there's three screws that hold kind of this kick plate in. Got that out of my way and all of this right here is all uh, the aftermarket wiring harness which I'm going to pull out and then I'll reuse the harness because I'm putting a new body kit on there. I shouldn't say reuse, I'm going to use a new harness from the body kit so I'm trying to get rid of most of the wiring and get everything cleared out so I can get out and blow the dust off of this thing with the pressure washer and then we can kind of start reassembling with the new body and the new wiring harness and reversing the process I guess all right again I didn't look at the clock but I'm probably at the 45 minute mark here um, I actually unplugged uh, the complete dash assembly. There's one plug-in left after I pulled all the other wiring harness out. And I got to looking, and I want to get this thing a good pressure wash and maybe even some paint. I've literally only got just a few more uh, things to unbolt and unplug. And I can pull this whole computer and wiring harness and everything out. I've never done that before. I've always cleaned it with everything in. Uh, it does make me a little nervous with electronics and of course you have to be you know kind of cautious and move things around so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that pull the whole wiring harness out then I can get this thing outside and really feed it the onions with the pressure washer and uh, yeah even pull a lot more of this plastic out maybe I'll pull the battery tub I don't know I'm just kinda brainstorming as I go here but if I can get that out, that I can blow off with the air compressor and get all you know cleaned up with a wire brush and make that look nice and pretty. Um, and then I pulled up the pedal assembly and that, literally if I unscrew that, the whole pedal assembly will come out and I can protect all the electronics there. So, I know I'm rambling, but I'm uh, kind of thinking as I'm filming here and I think I'm just going to do that and then uh, we can roll it outside and, and give it a good pressure washing and get in here and look and see what else I want to do. Do I want to keep going? Do I want to go right down to the frame? Do I need to go right down to the frame? Um, probably not. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll keep chugging away here and I guess we'll decide as we go. <clears throat> well, that escalated quickly. Um, kind of just got carried away here a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Um, whew, I fought with that floorboard a little bit. Boy, I'm close to just a couple more here, and we're down to the, basically down to the frame. So, wow, okay, what am I doing, Jeff? Goodness gracious. Let's, uh... Let's evaluate for a second. Um, I can get in here with a wire brush and clean this up real nice. Again, you can see where that battery acid was just kind of doing its thing here. 
Um, we can clean up that battery hold down. We can get a lot done now that we got all this stuff out of our way. And I do believe I've had these unibodies off before, and I'm trying to remember. I think it's just, I think there's one on each side. Um, I don't remember. Maybe one down here, a couple down here. We might as well pull that off too since we've gone this far, right? Any objections? I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, wiring harness is out. You know, this was a running driving cart about an hour and a half ago, so, you know, that's fine. Okay, about 90 more seconds and uh, the rest of that comes off. So I got, a, I got a garage full of parts here. I mean, it should be fine. Um, yeah. I'm just, uh, just kind of wondering what I should do here. Um, I've seen guys paint these frames like a flat black. I'm kind of tempted to do that, even though I like the aluminum frame. Um, it does show a lot of dirt. Of course, black does too, but I don't know. I'm thinking here. I could literally flat black everything that's left here. I don't know. I'm going to shut the camera off and go in the house and collect my thoughts for a minute. I'll be back with you shortly. Alright, went in the house for about 45 seconds and came back out with a plan. Um, I'm going to knock, I did knock some of this uh, bigger chunks off with a wire brush. I'm going to take what I don't need, like the body kit, I'll take that to the warehouse um, and save that for another project. I'm going to take these parts outside, pressure wash, paint what needs to be painted, Probably just the under dash on this and then the under body that shows on that. Pressure wash all those other pieces like that rear bumper support. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to paint it. Um, I thought about it a little bit. One of the main reasons is the, the good paint that I like to use, um, I can only get at one place in town and they're not open on Saturdays. I should have stocked up a long time ago but um, of course I could run to Home Depot and get flat black paint and but that's not the same the stuff that I use from this it's a bolt and screw supply store in town here is amazing I can't remember the name of it otherwise I'd tell you but um, if I was going to do that that's what I would do and and I was kind of on the fence about painting the aluminum anyway so I'll probably just leave it I do have some undercoating but that's more of a rubberized and that can be kind of messy and I don't really want to do that so what I'm going to do um, is just clean it up as best I can. I haven't serviced that rear differential yet either. I'll probably wait until after we're done with everything. And what I'd like to do today, um, it's, it's only a little after 10 here in the morning, 10.30 I guess almost, um, is try to get a lot of this reassembled. <clears throat> and that way um, it's a lot easier to move around in the garage if I can have all the pieces not scattered all over the place for one and partially assembled so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna move some stuff around here get this outside do some pressure washing and some painting and then we'll kinda reevaluate after that alright got the battery charged back up had a little lunch break here and uh... I'm telling you what, this trim and bumper paint, uh, I love this stuff. It goes on, doesn't really go on like spray paint, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, it goes on really good and it dries almost instantly. So, I've got the pieces painted that you're going to see. Um, the dash, under the dash, obviously I didn't do anything with the floor because that all gets covered. I did underneath the cowl because you probably will see that a little bit. That might need a second uh, second application. I didn't do much with the sweater basket. I didn't do anything, really, because that's going to be replaced. So that's not going to be used. And I probably will buy new rocker panels, um, just because it's my personal cart. They're like 18 bucks a piece at the dealer. And then I'll save those for another project. But the kick panel and the cowl support. So we're ready to start reversing the process here. Um, 
And uh, I don't know how much we're going to get done today, but might as well give her our best shot. Here we go. All right, thought I'd show you where we're at quick. Um, got everything pretty much bolted down. I did put new hardware in. Those were all rusty and crusty. I was able to get the back bolts out too. I didn't think I'd be able to. Thought I'd have to put some self tappers in there or something, but got the steering column back in. Um, I did make a mark on there so I'd know where to, even though it kind of only goes one way, but that way my steering wheel will still be straight, hopefully. Um, I did take the whiz wheel and kind of clean up some of the corrosion on the on here, blew the dust off. I mean, you could really get carried away and drive yourself bonkers on cleaning this stuff up. And this is probably going to be fine. I mean, it worked before, so that's good. Um, probably throw some of the electronics in, and then I think what I'll do maybe the pedal assembly is I'll run over to the warehouse and grab that other body kit. See if we can't get some of that on here today, too. All right, got the electronics back in, got my wires ran. Uh, I don't have everything plugged back in to the motor yet, but we will here shortly. Um, I think right now I'm just going to stop, uh, shut the camera off for a minute, run over to the warehouse, grab that other body, and uh, we've got a Phoenix body kit for this one that I want to put on so we can kind of at least maybe lay some pieces in here yet, and uh, I don't know, just keep going I guess, and it's early enough in the day where we can probably get most of this done, so I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, back from the warehouse. Um, just got the body sitting on here. Uh, probably have to pull it off again because I got to run the wires for the tail lights. But if you're an amateur and you're doing a body kit and wiring, you're going to open this box up and you're going to say, "What in the world did I do to myself?" Um, but really, it's not that bad. And I say that because I've done a bunch of them. But really, truly, it's not that bad. Let me set the camera down here and I'll try to break this down a little for you. Alright, this is the main wiring harness, okay, for the headlights and taillights. And I'm going to unravel this and kind of break it down for you. Alright, so this section right here that's basically black tape and doesn't have the, um, the, you know, the cover on it like this, just regular black tape, that's going to lay in your trough right there. And that's going to go up here and plug in for your main front headlights, turn signals, horn, things like that. So you're going to fish that through, um, right through there, just like you did the other harness. This is going to go down if you want to hook up brake lights. I never hook up brake lights. It's a golf cart. Why do we need brake lights? Okay. I probably could. It's not that hard, obviously, but I just think it's foolish. So I usually just wire, zip tie that out of the way somewhere. You've got a fuse in here. You've got what's going to go to your voltage reducer from your 48 volts down to your 12 volts. And then your white or your ground, which is going to plug into your main harness. Uh, that's already on the golf cart, and I'll show you that in just a second. Alright, so you can see where your harness is going to run through in that trough right there. Like I said, your brake harness, you can decide, brake light harness, if you want to use that or not. This white will plug into your connector from your original club car. And I'm trying to remember uh, right and left tail light. I believe the right is the one that comes off of uh, your harness because that's going to be closer to that side. So then it's just a matter of kind of tucking them through here. You're going to run it through this hole. Of course I got the body on here already which is a little premature. And then you're just going to run them back to your tail lights on each side and plug those in. So once you lay it out and simplify it, it makes it a lot easier when you first look at it. You're probably going to think, oh my, I'm never going to figure this out. But 
just take it step by step. There's probably instructions in here somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that. It does come with instructions. So headlights are in there yet. Um, there's some mounting hardware and things like that. But I'm just gonna keep chugging on this thing and hopefully get this body put on here yet. Well, I apologize. I definitely need a new memory card. I, I know I've said that before, but I have got to get that done. For whatever reason, this one loses um, or has lost memory, I, whatever you call it. it. It doesn't hold as much as it used to, is what I'm saying. And uh, so I'm working away thinking I'm recording, and I'm not, so I apologize for that. But I did get um, the dash put in and the, I don't know, what do you call it, nose piece, cowl, and... Um, Got the wiring. I did put the seats on and the back end. I don't know how much of that got on film. I dropped the battery back in it and turned it on and everything still works. So that's good. Um, what I'm going to do now is pop these headlights and grill in and basically just probably set this body on. I'm not going to get the wiring done today even though there's not a whole lot left. I'm, I'm just kind of running out of steam and going to go uh, put my feet up here in a little bit. So. Let me get those in and then set that on there. Maybe we'll get the roof and stuff on, but at least it'll look like a, a golf cart again here before we're done. All right. Well, it's together. Uh, a lot of buttoning up to do uh, with the wiring and the, put the turn signal and the horn and everything in. I'm making a custom dash in there. I don't have all the pieces for that. Got a little surprise for you. Rather than put the double take sticker in there, had one of these bad boys custom made. So we're going to put that in there instead. That's going to look a whole lot better. Got to do something with the front bumper. But other than that, bu button up a few things for today and it's drivable and usable. We just got to finish up some wiring. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thanks for coming along. Uh, I started on this project about 9 o'clock this morning. Took a few breaks. Went and grabbed lunch with my wife. Um, it's now 4 o'clock. So we had this thing completely down to the frame and back together again in basically a day. Now, I know I've done a bunch of these, and if you've never done one, it might take you maybe two days, but uh, the point is this. Don't be afraid to get out in the garage and tackle something you've never done before. Um, there's always help on the Internet. There's always, you know, YouTube University, for that matter. But um, go ahead and get out there and do something, whether it's a golf cart, a bicycle, a dirt bike, maybe an old hot rod, whatever it is. But uh, appreciate you coming along, and we'll see you next time on Cart Crazy.